Oh yeah, so today we're gonna be unboxing the M3 MacBook Pro. If you guys didn't know, my birthday is coming up in a couple days and my wife surprised me with this awesome gift. So I'm more than happy to go ahead, unbox it, go over the specs and everything I did to get it up and running. Let's go ahead and get into it. So this is the M3 MacBook Pro. This one in particular is an 18 gigabyte unified memory, one terabyte SSD, the 14 inch model of course. It's a 12 core CPU and 18 core GPU. So this is my very first laptop upgrade in quite a, some time and I'm so stoked for this. And one thing I can tell you about Apple, um, they make sure the unboxing experience is always top tier. So this is pretty cool. I am really excited. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I am so, so, so hyped. nice oh boy look at this all right so we go ahead and put this to the side and it's so light man it's ridiculous all right so what comes in here it's a braided usb-c cable of course in black i like it quite sleek i cannot complain one bit and of course the usual instruction manual they usually come with um some stickers right and i've been seeing yep a lot of black stickers lately so this is pretty pretty dope now i don't know about you right but i don't think when it comes to like user manuals or instruction manuals that i've ever um looked them over so i don't think i'll start now <laughs> and of course the, the the power block so that's pretty straightforward it looks nice it got a little weight to it nothing crazy and it's always like the feeling of wanting to like take this bottom part off there might be something extra in there but yeah i don't think so now let's go ahead and get into the meat and potatoes of this thing. All right, so look at that. That feels, ooh, and it comes out like butter. So this paper is like a wax filament type um, paper. Nothing too crazy, but look at this. Look at, look at this beauty. Look at this thing. Now this is supposed to be like space black, right? I ain't gonna hold you. It, it's dark. It could be darker but I can rock with it, right? I can rock with it. There's supposed to be some type of like fingerprint technology to where like it's not too crazy. So, so far, so good. My hand is not like oily or like sweaty, so you might not be able to see it right now, but you know, who knows? Who knows? And the charging ports, multiple USB-C ports, and I can't tell you like how, how crazy light this is. Okay, so, oh wait, it turned on by itself? Okay, that's too cool. That's too cool. <laughs> Yo. So I can feel the difference between the weight of the top portion of the laptop compared to my old 2012 MacBook Pro. That thing is a chunk. It's really, really heavy and it's crazy how much of the weight difference it is compared to the new M3 on MacBook Pro. Now let's go ahead and do a side by side to see how the old one versus the new one look side by side. Look at this thing. You can, you can, you can tell, you can tell just by how chunky this is. Like, like look, look, look at the thickness, all right? Compared to this baby. I can't complain, like opening this is like, it, ta it takes some give, right? It takes some. Now this bad boy here, really easy compared to the old one. I guess we can chalk it up to like older model, but like, this is just heavy. Now the price point for this particular MacBook setup is around $2,400 and this past weekend it was Veterans Day and that discount brought the price down to $2,100 but I also got the Apple Care, so it went back up to the $2,400 before taxes. Now did I need Apple Care? Maybe not but guess what? This is my first upgrade from my old machine so I'm not going to take any risks. Now there are a couple things that I changed when setting up the MacBook Pro. The first thing I changed was a wallpaper that came with the MacBook Pro. Um, the one that was shown wasn't my style, so I went ahead and changed it to the one that's typically on the box, at least for now. The next thing I did was change the screensaver. So the screensaver that I have right now is the, the flipping clock. I love it, it's sleek, it matches my vibe, it matches my room aesthetic, and I like it a lot. I'll also include a link to that particular screensaver down in the description. Now the next thing I changed was a taskbar. So I changed the size of the particular taskbar as well as the visibility of it. So I set it up to where it's off the screen if you're not using it. 
The next thing I changed was the battery display as well as the control panel. Now with the display, instead of having to click on the actual battery icon to know the percentage of the laptop, I can just have it shown to me in real time. Then with the control panel, you can go ahead and drag whatever element you want to have on that top portion of the screen. And I also customized the finder option on this display. So in the finder, I set it to have the column mode enabled as well as the toolbar within finder. So from the toolbar, right click on the top portion of it so you can go ahead and customize what's included in the top section of that toolbar. So you can go ahead and drag and drop the delete button, drag and drop a new folder icon, amongst other things. So go ahead, try it out and let me know what you think. The next thing I customized was the whole corners function. So now with the whole corners function, you can go ahead and drag your cursor to whatever corner of the screen you want and it would prompt an action. Now to customize the whole corners, what you'll need to do is, of course, head back over to your actual settings, scroll down to desktop and docs, then scroll all the way down until you see hot corners, not whole corners, hot corners to the bottom right of that option. And from there you click it and you can go ahead and adjust which corners you want to have which display on. And once you click on that particular corner, you can go ahead and hold shift to activate that shift function to where you don't accidentally lock your screen or put your machine to sleep. After that, you're good to go. So for example, if you drag it to the bottom right, it's gonna prompt Apple Notes. And for me, I customize all the corners. So the bottom left for me is gonna be my screensaver. So I can just go ahead and drag it to the left and it will prompt. If I wanna set either corner to sleep mode or to my lock screen, I'll go ahead and implement this shift function to where I don't accidentally close my screen out. So I think it's very useful when it comes to convenience. So I also made sure to download Google Chrome, Notion, as well as all of my Adobe software so my Premiere Pro, Lightroom, as well as Photoshop. So this is gonna be my main driver, my main workforce when it comes to creating content and editing videos, and I can't wait to fully dive in. So if you made it this far in the video, make sure you guys go ahead and give us a thumbs up, comment down in the chat what you think so far on this new M3 MacBook Pro. Would you see yourself having one? Do you recommend anyone upgrading if they have a M1 or M2 chip? Or would you only recommend upgrading if you have an Intel series? And again, shout out to my wife for this amazing gift. This machine is beastly. I can't wait to go dive in put it through his paces and provide y'all with more quality content. Until next time guys, peace.